Hey, what's up guys? Today, we're gonna to talk about the Pixel 6a Geekbench scores. Now, you may notice the Pixel 6a cannot actually install Geekbench 5 from the official Play Store, which I don't even know why, but I found the APK online and I have installed it in my phone. Here it is. Let's go ahead and check the latest result. So here is the score, 1038 and 2680 for the multi-core. Those are decent numbers. Not the best, but not the worst either. Considering this is a mid-range phone with a quote-unquote flagship CPU. It was never really a flagship CPU. I think Google is really clever with disguising the Tensor instead of uh, whatever Snapdragon or Samsung chip is because most people can't tell whether it actually is a flagship chip or is it a mid-ranger. You just can't tell because it's, it's literally just called Google Tensor. Let's go ahead and compare the Geekbench score to other devices. So here we have the S21. Voila, almost the exact same score. Do you know why? <laughs> well, it's because Google literally used the S21 chip and then rebranded it as the Google Tensor. So effectively, Pixels are now gonna have the exact same CPUs as the previous generation Samsungs. Okay, well, this is how fast the Pixel compares to an iPhone and uh, a much older iPhone. This is the iPhone XS, 1109 and 2698. The multi-core is a little bit slower than the Pixel, but wow. Android has fallen very far behind as the latest Geekbench scores for the iPhone 13 are at 1700 and 45,000 or 4,500 respectively. So Android CPUs have definitely fallen behind, but there you go. Those are my Geekbench scores. For more Pixel 6a videos, make sure you guys subscribe to Pixel Avenue and I hope to see you guys later. Peace.